Hi everybody. Just going to do a real quick video on how to light up your Franken Cube uh, smoker by Iron Man Cookers. Um, if you haven't done so already, go to OperationBBQRelief.org and uh, check them out. Anyway, so here you have it. This is a Franken Cube. Sorry, I'm shooting this with my phone, so it's a little bit blurry, probably. On the front of it, you got a nice heavy-duty latch there. Undo the latch, open it up. And there's a. This is mine. I've cooked on it quite a bit. So uh, anyway, this is what we call our uh, comp edition. It's got this uh, loft on it here, like a rib rack, and then uh, you got the main cooking grate. Main cooking grate's 27 inches by 27 inches. And the second level is 27 inches wide, 14 inches deep. You can fit five slabs of St. Louis spares on it for baby backs. Anyway, that rack just lifts right off. Set it down on the ground there. Then we got our main grate. This is how it comes standard without that second rack. Anyway, there's two handles here, but because I'm doing it holding the camera with the other hand, I got to do it the hard way. Take that out and lean it out, or you can hook it over here on the side, however you want to do it. This is our baffle plate. The main reason that's on there is, is not only to prevent a small hot spot in the middle, but also because there's a, uh, when you're cooking with, with a lot of charcoal in a basket, and let's say you're doing competition pork, you got a lot of liquid uh, dripping off of the butt itself. That's to keep that liquid from going in your coals. And uh, it'll actually choke out your coals if you're not careful. So we use a baffle plate, and it also helps keep it a little more even cooking surface. Just take that out and set it on your rack right there. And we've got a uh, we got a heat shield, but it's more of a uh, uh, just it's it's more to help with draft. So if you're using a uh, Pitmaster IQ or a Guru which hooks up right to our air and what's on the front um, it just makes all the air go into the basket instead of going around it anyway just lift your basket out set it on the ground and this has to go all the way up against the front right here and then your basket just goes right down inside of that and then your baffle plate sits right on top now to light this cooker I'll just use regular old Kingsford blues bag, blue bag usually for uh, illustration purposes. First thing I do is I fill my chimney up, and then I pour the rest of the bag in the in the basket. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I'll be right back. All right. So I filled up my chimney and I poured the rest of the bag inside the the basket there. And uh, you can see I cook on this driveway quite a bit. I need to clean it. <coughs> Anyway, uh, there's your newspaper. You can use a gas burner, which is what I normally do. I just don't have it here with me. Or you can use uh, those little wax cubes or something. Newspaper works pretty good. It's cold enough out here that the lighter won't do its thing. You'll see that the chimney starts to draft a bit once the paper gets going. I don't know if you can even see that smoke. Anyway, now we just got to wait for that to go. So the chimney's going, and next thing I do is I go ahead and take the basket, set it down in there. 
Now I want to point something out. On the basket, there's an angle on the side of it. One side does not have an angle. One side does. So what you need to do is make sure that the side without the angle is facing the air inlets so that so that ash doesn't build up blocking off the airflow just like that right there now we're just going to wait on that charcoal to get done my buddy fred over at mojo bricks makes an awesome prod product i've got cherry ones here i like to take two of these little blocks or one of them when they're that big just set it right down inside the charcoal just like that kind of flush with the top what the heck we'll go ahead and put two of them in there why not right people say that the cherry gives you a better smoke ring so anyway Good stuff, Mojo Bricks. Mojo Bricks. All right, that's just how I like it right there. So, it's a good idea to wear your wear gloves when you're doing this, but take that chimney and just dump it evenly all over the top. Just like that right there. And then you put your cook your baffle plate back in. Make sure everything's up where it belongs. One handed there. Put your grate on there. Shut the lid, open the smokestack all the way, and then on these air inlets, I leave them closed while I'm getting everything started, but you only need that one inlet open about that far, you know, about not quite half, and that'll get you right at 225. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're just going to sit back and watch. As the old thermometer starts climbing. She gets there pretty quick. Not here in a little bit. <coughs> I'm gonna make me some ribs. Get you a Franken cube. Go to IronmanCookers.com. Look at the Franken cube tab. Thanks a lot.